Introducing the Plug-in Hybrid Electric Revolution. PHEV is coming to your nation. Imagine plugging in your car in a regular outlet and getting between 60 and 100 miles per gallon. This is my 2000 Hybrid Electric Insight. This Honda Insight is the first hybrid electric ever made. Anyway, this isn't about my car. This is about hybrid electric cars. And what this car isn't is it's not a plug-in electric. We recently went to the uh, Beyond Oil conference sponsored by Cascadia at the Microsoft campus. And we found electric cars like this neighborhood electric. They're so quiet, these electric cars. That's really amazing. Look at that. 150 miles per gallon. Sarah Hart. Here we are at the Beyond Oil Trans Tech Conference, fifth annual conference this year. Yes, and we are uh, visiting electric cars full time, two days, here in uh, the Redmond campus of Microsoft. An excellent conference, and we're learning all about how to uh, how to make this this nation more efficient and save us all a lot of money on the gas pump. Right behind us is a diesel electric school bus, the future of school bus transportation. This is a plug-in hybrid of the Prius variety. Not a nice one. Let's take a look. Just like any other Prius, but the battery pack is in the back. This is a nanophosphate. Right, the plug in the back and plug in the front. There's an extension cord ready to go. That is so nice. Good morning. Good morning. Is this your car? It's one of our members. Your cars. members, oh. You can give it a 220 volt input, mm -hmm. a 203 volt input, a 120 volt input. Fantastic. You can give it a DC input. DC input. Wow. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Are you a... Uh, ooh, that's a beauty. That's What is that, a spec car or is that actually... That's from the uh, Western Washington and they've got uh, second to none, the, the best automotive department this side of Detroit. This yeah, I can move this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What size is the motor? The engine in this, this is a this is a prototype for us. It's a 1.6 liter Honda okay. infernal combustion engine, as some of our electric friends here uh, call it. Infernal? Infernal combustion engine. But we did it because it was uh, gi given to us, and it's capable of about 50 miles per gallon. We have another vehicle that's similar remarkable. to this. A remarkable vehicle. And you have a, a couple other vehicles here too, don't you? We do. We have the biomethane hybrid vehicle, plug-in hybrid vehicle here. Wow. And, uh, biomethane. That's so fantastic. It's out of cow, yeah, dairy cow waste. Dairy so cow we're waste. Finding the bio now this blue vehicle here. Yes. It's an all electric. 130 miles an hour at freeway speed. 100, 130 mile range at freeway speed. Freeway speed. That's it was built on amazing. a Honda Acura. It's been through all the crash tests. It's built on an existing frame. Nice. And within the next three years, they're talking about being able to triple its range to close to 450 miles. On batteries only. On batteries that only. That is truly no, impressive. No gas power, nothing. And this is technology that is available to us today yeah. by the major corporations. This, this is what they've released to us. This costs a lot of money right now. Yeah. 200 grand. 200 grand for well, that vehicle. Well, it costs $150,000 to build that. Okay. If you include all of the costs on the construction. Is it lithium ion? Lithium ion. We think we can cut the construction time down from Did you nine do months car? to three months. I have a friend who did Kind of worked on it, yeah. Um, he should be taking people on test rides, but I think it scares people. Yeah. 130 miles at freeway speed. That's impressive. That scares people. It does. That means that 95% of all gasoline cars could be replaced Would be within the next five yeah, years. Exactly. Just like Israel and Finland are doing in the next three years. 33% of, well, of all gasoline motored vehicles will be off the roads in Finland and 
in Israel within Fantastic. the next three years Fantastic. thanks to Renault and some decisions made. This is a decision that can be made by our federal government and you can meter the electricity going into it. Right. Perfect. So you do not lose control. Thank you. General Motors, General Motors did it uh, 10 years ago, right? Yeah. And, well, but the General uh, Motors the EV1, you mean? You couldn't work on. This one, a backyard well, mechanic can work the on. GM EV1, we have one and... Um, I can't work on it. We pulled, we pulled an EV Ranger apart and there are some batteries in there you cannot get replacements for. So what you have to do is you have to fool the computer and it takes a genius to do that. We tried that and we gave up because there wasn't any money in doing it. But this on the other hand, this is something a backyard mechanic can do. You can take sure. any car as long as you can fool the computer system. Right. But it's also can be put in full production within one year. All electric. And we could all electric, 130 mile range with existing technology. Excellent. Well thank you. And thank you very much, Eric. Yeah, Appreciate what it. What you're doing at Western Washington University is, is fantastic. It's fantastic. Somebody, yeah. you're going you're gonna to touch somebody and they're going to say, I have a solution to this. Yeah. If not yourself, because <laughs> I think you're on the road to winning this award. Well, we'll, we'll see here. The X Prize. It's a good competition to have. And it's yeah. Good to, good to get all these different cars out there. Definitely. As it's been said, shame the automakers. In the they haven't done it soon enough, that's for sure. Good. Well, thank well, you. Yeah, thank you. Our goal is not to shame thank anything. Our, yeah. The goal of the electric car business is not to shame people, but to work with the existing corporate structure right. and give them the options that they need to yeah. move forward. Not to shame anybody or change the existing monetary structure, but to give options so that they can say, here's an option, now how do we deal with it? Yeah. But not to change anything. Do a seamless change so that we do not feel the change, but so that we're very quickly moved into the next century. I love that. I love that concept. Great. Thank you very much, William. Yeah, this is Idaho National Laboratory, which has been doing a lot of the testing on batteries. They've had presentations here. And plug-in America. Plug-in hybrids, the future of travel in America. This is so cool. Carbon Neutral Conference, Beyond Oil, this is about the conference. Sustainable Transportation. We have these brochures, I believe. Mm, I think we need one of them. Yeah, pick up a brochure. And this is Windworks Northwest. So, very, very uh, important, big part of our renewable energy. Full spectrum plan to get this country energy self-sufficient. And this is a, yeah, we needed one of those, Commons. And this is who's promoting this. Discovery Institute, Cascadia, clean, green, and smart. Very cool. Let's make a seamless transition to the future. I'm David John Sponheim, America's write-in presidential candidate. Join me as we make this planet cleaner, greener, and energy efficient.